Hi everyone and welcome to a new series. As detailed in my channel update video, the series will focus on fan submitted video game theories, whether they be original or very well known already. I will explain the theory, then give my personal thoughts. The first theory is the infamous Link is Dead theory submitted by Damien Plays. This is probably one of the most popular Zelda theories and a fan favorite. Majora's Mask is already looked at as a darker, more mature style Zelda game, but this theory brings it to an entirely new level. But before we get started, I want to thank Zelda Amino or Hyrule Amino for allowing this video to be possible. It is a social media platform that brings the best of Facebook and Twitter together for the Zelda community. Share your ideals, theories, and chat with other Zelda fans like myself. A few variations of this theory exist, but they all explain that while Link is searching for Navi in the Lost Woods during the opening of Majora's Mask, he is bombarded by the Skull Kid who steals Epona. Link chases after him, but accidentally falls off this ledge and down this huge hole. It is here that we see the Skull Kid put a curse on him and transform him into a Deku Scrub. The most popular version of this theory suggests this is when Link dies. Link is unable to survive the long fall down the hole, and Termina is what we usually call Limbo. Termina doesn't actually exist, it's just a fragment of Link's imagination as he's dying or dead and unable to pass on. Link is trapped in Limbo reliving the same three days over and over again. And in this limbo state, or Termina, everyone Link meets looks almost identical to people that he already knew back in Hyrule. He even encounters several other spirits stuck in limbo and unable to move on, like Mikau and Armani. Some versions even give evidence to prove that the Happy Mask Salesman is some kind of devil or Grim Reaper type figure. Since he knows the Song of Healing to help people pass on and turn into masks, he takes their mask, or in some cases, their souls, with him. On top of this, the theme of death rings true throughout the entire game, and most side quests are based on some form of loss. As you play the game, Link himself goes through the five stages of grief as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this, because several theories already exist that go way more in depth than I ever could. Clocktown is denial, Woodfall is anger, Snowhead is bargaining, Great Bay is depression, and the Kana Valley is acceptance. After completing all five stages of grief, the game is over and you're able to move on. Alright, so now that you're up to date on the theory itself, I can give you my own personal opinion on it. While on its own, if you're looking at Majora's Mask and no other games, the theory holds up, but the moment you start digging deeper, it all falls apart. While I love the idea of the theory, and again, it is one of the most popular theories, not just Zelda theories, but video games in general, this is by far the easiest theory to debunk. Statements directly from Nintendo debunk this theory. Termina is a land that does exist outside of Hyrule. It's not just a figment of Link's imagination. It's a parallel world similar to Dark World or Low World. Next, we can look at Twilight Princess. The Hero of Time is seen here as a fully grown skeleton and is buried next to the castle, presumably as a knight. If Link died before the events of Majora's Mask as a child, he would obviously not have been able to grow up into an adult. On top of this, Link, the Hero of Light from Twilight Princess, is the descendant of Link from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Again, if Link died before the events of Majora's Mask, he would have not been able to find someone and start a family that would allow a bloodline for Link from Twilight Princess to exist. I think this is all the evidence that we need to conclude that this theory is debunked. Just remember, a theory doesn't have to be completely true. They just need to be fun and interesting, and this is one of the most interesting ones to think about. Remember, it's called game theory, not game fact. Part of the fun is drawing conclusions and answers to these questions. Nintendo and other developers don't give us. So while I love the ideal of the theory, it just doesn't hold up for me. Maybe you have different thoughts, and if you do, please let me know. Comment below and let me know if you believe this theory or not. And if you have your own original theory, or you want to hear my opinions on another popular theory, post them in the comments below as well and I'll get to them eventually. Do you have an ideal for a new theory? Would you like to be featured on my next theory or be a part of a discussion video with myself and other Zelda theorists? Well, head on over to my Patreon page and check out the awesome rewards. Also, for a limited time, every pledge of $5 or more gets you entered to win a custom anime style drawing of yourself, similar to the ones shown here, or my own avatar. I would like to thank Angliki, Rocket Cat, Jonathan and Gus Calvo for their support on Patreon, and Zelda Mino for allowing this video to be possible. 